seen a buck with that much gnarl right there above the prong. It's a big Colorado goat. What a buck. 16 inch goat. That's a dead goat. Huge third measurements. This is an awesome buck, just an awesome buck. He's over 15 inches, really heavy bases, nice big prongs. You see here he's broke off over an inch of his prongs on both sides. You know, a lot of people look out here and see this country and it looks flat and don't figure out, well, how in the heck are you going to stalk an antelope that's got a 20 power eye and he sees you two miles away in this flat country? I've waited until an antelope has gone over a hill, over the crest, and then I'll make a sneak. When I get close within three or four hundred yards, I'll literally low crawl. And that's where having a pair of knee pads, elbow pads, and a pair of gloves on is going to help you when you do that low crawling. It seems like antelope will tolerate you if you're low crawling or down low, but if you stand up or kneel, man, boom, they're gone. Bigger than I thought he was. He's got six and three quarter inch diggers. <laughs> nice heavy Colorado antelope, nice and tall. You know, about as big as they get. You can see he's just really heavy. You know, we passed up on a 78 inch goat this morning in order to get this 80 plus. Well, here's a picture of the Colorado Freak. This buck is really, really wacky. And until next time, remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game.